I am Mario Caudillo and this is my capstone project proposal. El mundo de Chuen Ulama. What is Chuen? Chuen is inspired in the Mayan glyph of the monkey, a master of the arts, the magician, the creative, and the playful mind. El mundo de Chuen is a series of mobile games. Uh, in which the unified element is Chuen, the main character. What is Ulama? Ulama is the sports that the pre-Hispanic cultures um, play and it's also known as the Mesoamerican ball game. Uh, this game has a history of how to play it's different in every court of the pre-Hispanic. El Mundo de Chuen Ulama is the second mobile game of uh, El Mundo de Chuen series. Uh, it is a mobile game which explores the story of the Ulama game from the Olmec, Zapotec, Chichimec and also other uh, pre-Hispanic cultures. El Mundo de Chuen Ulama is going to be a, a game for pay and, and there will be a free version in which um, the user could play the tutorial levels. Uh, the target audience are children between 6 and 16 years old and um, the menu screens are going to be in 2D and the, um, the game will be developed in Maya and Unity 3D. Why I choose this project? Uh, well, new generations know how to play in mobile devices and uh, how many of the content in these devices are giving something meaningful to them. El Mundo de Chuen Ulama is going to be a game where the player will learn about the pre-Hispanic cultures, the, the game itself, and uh, it's going to be in a playful way, just like Chuen. Here are some of the, of the levels of El Mundo de Chuen Ulama. Uh, we have the first tutorial that it's hit the ball. Uh, this tutorial is going to be um, how to control the character by the accelerometer. Then the Gip Direction tutorial it's about uh, hitting some targets with the ball. The third is a game with the, the Ulama Champion of Teotihuacan where is the the main city of our main character. Then we have three levels that are Tolquilla, Tajin and Uxmal. These three um, locations are ideal for the first levels because in this um, in these courts there are no uh, rings and the game is the first to get 7 points win. Then we have the fourth tutorial that is Acquiring Altitude and uh, the fifth tutorial of the Ring Shot. Uh, this, the next three levels, the Xochicalco, Montalban and Chichen Itza level are uh, more difficult because the ring is um, it's added. Yes. The if you get the ball past the ring, you win the game. Here is the game prototype. This is the title screen where you could get to the credits. Or start the game. The game will offer two 
different modes story mode and free mode in story mode you will get to the levels that I shown and in the free mode from the the story mode you're going to be winning um, characters uh, chords to play in free mode in story mode we have uh, the, um, the option to continue a game or to get a new game here we select a character we have two different to, to choose if it's a girl or a boy or what the user wants then we have the level, the difficulty it could be normal, hard or expert then here is the game obviously the game is going to be 3D this is only uh, for prototyping purposes uh, here we have three, three main um, controls the turn left the device or turn right it's to move the character and when the ring is um, added to the game for acquiring uh, altitude uh, we shake the device while the ball is in play when we shake and get to the ring we get in this screen that it's um, the screen for, for the ring shot uh, first of all uh, we got the pause menus where we could continue restart the game or return to the menu and when we swipe the ball through the ring if we get right uh, we got this winning scene if not uh, um, a point is added to the opponent and here's the references thank you